So DVSA have now blocked 5,000 test booking accounts. That's right, you heard it. 5,000 booking accounts have now been blocked by DVSA. So this is quite good news for you students out there. Obviously, there's all these road companies out there trying to profit from the high demand of booking a driving test. And they're charging over £200, I'm sure, as you guys will know or heard about. So DVSA have now finally taken steps. Um, so le and this is on the BBC's website. Let's just go through what they're saying. Almost 5,000 driving test booking accounts have been blocked after operators were found bulk booking slots and reselling them for profit. It comes after BBC News found slots were being grabbed by automated software and sold for more than £200. So really good news for students out there. DVS have now finally taken a bit of action. Maybe it's a bit late, but better late than never. 5,000 booking accounts have now been blocked by DVSA. Tighter checks have been also been put in place to make sure that only instructors can actually book uh, driving tests for their students. And DVSA has said that it had improved security to block the use of automated software that scoops up vacant slots. So these, um, let me just actually, let's see what this is saying. Um, hi, uh, let me, the block accounts were on the system that is intended to allow driving instructors to book, uh, book multiple slots and there was no suggestion that learner drivers were unable to book their tests using their own details. So despite the high demand, the DVSA has a 6,000 test slots per month were wasted by candidates who failed to turn up uh, double the normal compared with 2020. Wow. So that's a real shame. 6,000 students per month are not turning up for the driving test. Another 1,100 are unable to take the test because they were late, do not bring their provisional license or have a car that meets the requirement. So 7,100 now altogether per month. An estimate extra 4, uh, 425,000 tests have been have taken place since April 2021. An extra, estimate extra, that's not bad. The DVS has said that um, after more examiners were recruited, so that's quite good news. Uh, DVS's chief executive, Love Dave Ryder, said, We're working hard to provide more tests and we're starting to see that work, uh, the work pay off with more tests being available to book. But also, we're asking learners and instructors uh, to do their part in helping make sure that everybody is heading for a driving test appointment and is fully prepared and have got the right car documentation, except time and date. By working together, we will see the right people coming for the test, pass rate increase, and waiting time drop. So there you have it, some really good news for students trying to book their driving test. DVSA have now blocked over 5,000 driving test booking accounts. These accounts are block booking driving test slots and then reselling it for a profit. You're looking at well above £200 for certain areas. So DVSA have now taken a further step by blocking these accounts, giving more students a chance to be able to book a driving test. They've also mentioned that 6,000 students per month are not turning up for their driving test and a further 1,100 are turning up late or bringing the wrong documentation. And as we spoke in our previous video, DVSA have sent out 10 tips in order for you to turn up for your driving test on time, such as a text reminder or speaking with your driving instructor to make sure that they're free on the day of your test. So with the addition of 5,000 driving test booking accounts being closed and the minimization of the 7,100 tests per month being wasted we're looking at hopefully some good news the waiting list and the time for driving test booking is going to hopefully be reduced don't forget to like share and subscribe with fm driving school